Hello, I'm Jessica Ramirez, Market Analyst with Bell Direct. Joining us today is one of Australia's biggest gold producers, West Gold Resources, WGX, which has just gained entry into the ASX 200 in the September rebalance. With us is WGX's CEO, Debbie Fullerton. Debbie, thanks for joining us from Perth. Morning, Jess. Lovely to be with you. First up, what's your elevator pitch for West Gold Resources? All right, so West Gold is a, a West Australian gold producer with a dominant position in the Murchison. We are now e emerging as a significant player in the Australian gold um, sector. We separated from MetalsX in December 2016, and now nearly four years on, we're a billion dollar company with long, long life operations, we're debt free, and with a strong and growing cash balance. We are coming out of the build of our largest underground mine, the Big Bell Underground, which is expected to deliver around 30% of our um, output for the next 10 years. And we're really sitting pretty in this higher gold price environment with no debt. I could not, I've asked for a better time to step in and oversee the operations and, um, and the, getting the performance from these assets. With such a high leverage of the gold price, the future definitely does look rosy. And your financial results were pretty rosy too, coming in close to analyst expectations. All key metrics up, net profit after tax up 145%, helped by an almost 18% lift in the gold price in Aussie dollars. Now, Bell Potter has modelled for sales to continue to grow over the next few years. Just tell us what's behind overall growth. What can we expect? So West Gold has come out of a, a growth phase where we've developed um, a lot of our new underground mines. And so we had a 7% increase in gold um, sales in compar comparison to the prior year, but we were expecting a 15 to 30% going forward as these new mines come online. Um, the gold price, we're also expecting um, our, our profit margins to improve as we um, have a, about a $900 margin against the all-in sustaining costs, which is again brought out by that higher gold price that we see in, in, in the industry. And you recently announced that you've locked in a forward price for some of your gold reserves until February next year, 2022. What is important to note, though, is that about 93% of your gold will be exposed to gold price movements because you said that you want to participate in the gold price upside. But there could be downside too. But given market volatility and political tension, where do you think the gold price might sit in one to two years? Yes, so definitely um, West Gold is in a good position. Most companies do find it prudent to hedge gold and we do need to do that. But um, we've only currently got 7.5% of our gold um, in, in hedges and um, of, of our reserve in hedge. But the latest rework of our hedge book has allowed us to improve our exposure to non-hedged answers up from 50% to 70%. So the current year, we only have 80,000 ounces hedged at 2,082, and the rest of our production is going to be at spot. And you know, we, we are optimistic, we're bulls in this industry, and we can hope to see a three in front of the Aussie gold price uh, if, uh, if things go well. But if not, we've still you know, got plenty of upside and good answers to deliver into that. When it comes to company longevity and strategic planning, factoring in environmental, social and governance or ESG issues has become increasingly important. So what's West Gold's focus in this area? Is it on the E, the S or the G? And what are you doing for the E component? So Jess, you know, it's all three of those words wrapped up into one called sustainability. And West Gold have recently released their 2020 um, sustainability report. But historically, we're a company that did all of this without the fuss of promotion. And, um, but we do recognize that it is important for us to be able to show what we are doing. And so, you know, hence us releasing this report and, and um, making sure that our stakeholders know that we take these matters seriously. 
Um, our core values are about being responsible and um, we're proactive and passionate to manage our operations with the least harm to staff, environment, so, um, and our contractors. We also um, see the importance of the environmental side being a, being a mining company and we progressively rehabilitate our sites um, along the way. You know, we don't leave it all to the end. Yeah, definitely take our responsibilities seriously. The mining industry is heavily dominated by male, so it's so refreshing to see you at the helm as the CEO of West Gold. I'm probably assuming that you've got a gender balance policy in place, so tell us about that. And can you also tell us about the gender split on your board leadership team? Okay, well I'm delighted to be at the helm of West Gold, and although West Gold is a mining company, it's fundamentally a business. And therefore, as the ex-CFO of the company, um, one might consider it more relevant for the CFO, CEO to have a financial background than being a miner. Um, it's all about discipline though. The West Gold team is full of fantastic miners and good technical people. And um, the board is highly experienced and um, visionary. And we have most things covered. But I'm saying West Gold is a company of equal opportunity, and this can be demonstrated in our senior management team. I have um, eight direct reports, and five of them are female. These women come to work and um, do a good job. They're not just ticking a box, you know, every one of them is highly competent. And we do struggle in the mining industry um, to get this gender balance right. And, um, You'll see if we just look back in our last year, we had 17,000 job applications and only 3.1% of those were women who were applying for the jobs. So, you know, I think the fact that we actually appointed 10.7% women versus men in those applications show that we are, you know, targeting to fix this balance. But after all, it is the mining industry and, you know, if we need the woman to start applying, otherwise we can't uh, get the balance right. But West Gold is not one that looks to seek and get gender targets. We believe that we um, are an equal opportunity employer and that we employ on merit. And before we let you go, is there anything else that you wanted to share with investors or potential investors today? I'd just like to thank everyone for listening and um, point out that, you know, I'm not really big on all this media stuff. so. Um, this may not as be as polished as people were expecting, but it's going to be a big year for, for West Gold and um, we'll be able to show investors um, that we are a sound comparative um, on value grounds against our peers. And you'll be happy to know that each one of us come to work each day to deliver wealth for our shareholders. West Gold Resources CEO, Debbie Fullerton, thanks so much for your time. Thank you, Jess. And thank you for watching. West Gold is backed by Bell Potter as a buy. To find out more about WGX, head to Bell Direct's website.